Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys come in there. Just reading about this, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. You know, it sounds like this guy is best known for his art, but his accomplishments, they don't stop there. No, no, not at all. Architecture, literature, science, music, math, engineering, anatomy, astronomy, paleontology, and inventing. Man, it sounds like this guy was a true renaissance man. Born Leonardo de Saint Pierre da Vinci in 1452, son of Piero of the Vinci region of Florence, Italy, died in France in 1519. Leonardo is recognized as one of the premier artists of the High Renaissance, achieving great fame in both his time and ours. Uh, Leonardo is often thought of first as an artist. He was so much more. As evident from his thousands of sketches from his notebooks, Leonardo studied many different sciences and at different points in his life, created war machines for different militaries. This guy sounds like a real-life Tony Stark. Leonardo's notebooks, containing thousands of sketches and notes, show evidence of the man's true genius, centuries beyond his peers at the time. This mass of knowledge allowed Leonardo to intertwine art with just about any field he could imagine. His in-depth insights into the field of optics ever present in many of his paintings through the techniques that he demonstrates like Stumatu, Chiariscaro, and Atmospheric Perspective. Sfumato, derived from the Italian word for smoked, it is a well-controlled and subtle method for graduation of tone. It leaves a soft, hazy effect. Leonardo used the manner most effectively with the Mona Lisa, which you will see later on in the video. Chiaroscuro, the contrasting use of light and shadow. Artists famous for their mastery of chiaroscuro include Leonardo da Vinci, Caravaggio, and Rembrandt. What? That is incredible. So let's check out some of Leonardo's artwork. These are some of the most famous works of art in the world. You are the world, Craig. Not just the city, the world. This is the famed Mona Lisa painted by Leonardo da Vinci between approximately 1503 and 1506. This is the Last Supper painted during 1495 to 1498. It was painted by tempera and oil and it's a mural on plaster interesting fact about the Last Supper. It was created for the refectory of the city's monastery of Santa Maria della Grassi, also known as the Cenacle. This work measures about 15 by 29 feet and is the artist's only surviving fresco. So just like Leonardo used sketchbooks to brainstorm his ideas and to study and research inventions, we're going to create a collage in our sketchbook. Your collage can be anything that you want it to be. It could be any theme. You can design it however you'd like. Now let's get ready to put our collage together. So we're gonna cut paper, cut paper, cut fabric, cut more paper, cut some magazines, cut some newspaper, and then you can tear some paper up. The best way to start your collage is by gluing down your main piece of paper. And for us, we were deciding to do the world and the current situation that it's in. So we wanna glue down our main sheet of paper that we tore from the magazine that reminds us of the world. Then we wanna draw a contour line over the piece of paper. And we're gonna keep alternating with drawing and gluing paper and drawing and gluing something and drawing and gluing fabric and drawing and using our drawing mediums and our paper images. And we're gonna do this until the very end of our collage. Every time we do this, we want to put down a piece that balances the other piece. So we want to think of our elements and principles also while we are working. On our paper, 
Then we want to start filling in the blank space with either drawings or colors or shades of colors or we can blend colors or draw shapes or draw items. This is an example of our final collage page. As you can see, there are the pieces from the magazines and the newspapers that you have. You can see the written wordings underneath the layers of color and underneath the layers of pen markings that we drew. And at the very forefront of the piece, you do still see that world that we drew in with the black Sharpie and we added that green around to it. You wanna make sure that your main theme that you were wanting to portray becomes the main image and stays the main image throughout this piece, even at the end. So we have a collage made of a bunch of different little pictures and pieces of things that also are put together to create one complete picture. To recap what we learned, think of two elements that were used in making this video. Now think of one principle. What elements did you use? And what principles did you use while you were making your collage? On the back of your paper, write down the elements and the principles that you used.